China's commercial aerospace industry enters its 10th year. Across China, different regions are laying the foundations for the sector. Private enterprises are joining hands with commercial interests to push boundaries. In Hubei province, there are over 300 commercial aerospace and related enterprises which have formed a complete industrial chain that includes rocket and satellite developments, equipment support and satellite operation services. In the building behind me is China's first intelligent small-scale satellite production line. Today, advanced space products are not only mass-produced on assembly lines, but undergo a highly automated production process, from component delivery to assembly testing. The automation rate of equipment exceeds 50 percent, resulting in an increase in production efficiency of over 40 percent. Last year, we completed the bulk production task of three sets of 12 satellites for the Tianmu constellation, verifying the rapid satellite manufacturing technology. But how did the satellites journey into the heaven? Through rockets. Next door to the satellite industry zone is the Rocket Industry Center, home to the pioneering rocket company which has the capacity to assemble between 20 to 50 carrier rockets annually. Quadro One launch vehicle produced by the company, which is the same model as the rocket displayed here, has successfully completed 26 launches since 2017 and deploying 56 satellites into their designated orbits. Through mass production, batch assembly and launches, Quadro rockets effectively reduce the cost of launch enhancing the market competitiveness. From the preparation of our products to final assembly and testing, we can complete their production and they leave the factory in as little as one month. From the transportation of the products to the launch site to being ready for launch, we can achieve this in as fast as seven days. To harness the wealth of space-related information and apply it across diverse sectors, a unifying platform is essential. A pioneering initiative is now underway. Upon completion, individuals will be able to experience the platform through a portal on the website. This will ensure that data from the sky is readily accessible, enriching both production and daily life for all. The platform aims to aggregate domestic and foreign satellite digital resources. By effectively aggregating these resources through the platform, their utility can be maximized. Through this platform, everyone can purchase the data. From launching satellites into the sky to bringing the benefits back down to Earth, today's space exploration, once the domain of national efforts, is gradually embracing commerce, opening up new and potentially limitless possibilities. Huang Chang, CGTN, Wuhan, Hubei Province.